Hi, I'm Gary Brantner, and uh, on top of uh, raising kids, which you can probably hear in the background, I make comic books, and I am making videos to share with you how I make those comic books. So, one of the things I've been doing is, uh, well, I'm working on, okay, that didn't sound right. Anyway. That's one thing about this. I'm pretty low budget. I'm just showing you how to do it. I don't have any big production here. So just to be honest with you. Anyway, uh, I'm working on page 19 of Peter Pan and the Vampire's fourth issue. And I hit a little snag. One of my characters, Pele, turns into lava. And, uh, and lava uh, is not good on clothes, so it burns her clothes away. So when she's changing from lava to human form... She has a little problem of uh, not having any clothes. And so with that problem, I have to figure out ways to draw her and still be PG-13. So, uh, yeah, I've been struggling on this page for a long time. As you can see right here is my roughs. That's what my page looks like. Pretty rough. Uh, there's my Peter Pan the Vampire comics. That you can get on indieplanet.com. That's the hard copies. You can download them for free or you could buy those prints. And so back to my comic book. Uh, yeah, my I usually write a script page, one page per each page that I actually draw. And uh, on page 19, I am uh, trying to, I've been hitting an artist block on how to draw Pele. Uh, getting back into her clothes by uh, staying PG-13 also. And so I figured out that uh, I'm going to pose my action figures in the, in the way of the scene and then draw each action figure as my characters. And there's way too many characters in this scene to just figure it out in my head. So I had to use all my action figures to do it. Because I've got uh, Peter Pan, Wendy, Maui, Pele, and Gwen, and Tinkerbell, and also multiple Wendy's. So it makes it really hard to plan out the page that way. As you can see, I've got the top half of the page done. I just need to finish the bottom panel on my page. And yeah, so... I'm going to show you now a video of me time lapse. That's my boys. I'm try I tried to find a quiet time to uh, make this video, but there are no quiet times here. I'd be talking to you right now while everybody's asleep if I was doing that. Okay, don't be like that. Come here. So this is my boy Johnny. Hi, John. All right, go play. Okay, so let me get to that other video now, and then I will show you the pictures that I took and will be using for my comic book. So right now I just set up uh, multiple man as Peter. And a Black Widow as Wendy, and then a Spider-Man with wings on it as Gwen, Superman as Maui, two multiple men as Wendy's, and Tinkerbell in there, and there's a Pele in the back. She's behind a wall of ice that you can see through, so, so I uh, put her back there to display. Let me run that one more time. And play. So, yeah. So I set up my figures to plan out my scene. <clears throat> and, yeah. It's pretty interesting watching it. I sped it up to make it more interesting because, wow. It was like 16 minutes of me trying to get figures to stand up and they kept falling down. Okay, now I'm going to show you the pictures that came about from that. So here's my reference picture. 
Number one. Where is it? There we go. And should I tab it down so it's smaller? There we go. So there's reference picture one. I did an aerial shot. Maybe that'll be useful. I don't know. Here's reference shot two. Semi aerial, but off to a side. Reference shot three. That one might be useful. We'll see. And I, I set up the dice to uh, mark where I was going to have stalagmites and, uh, you know, ice stalagmites. Stuff like that. That way they're always in the same place, even if I decide to use the other frames. Here's a version. I, this is probably the one I'm going to be using because I like this one. The over-the-shoulder shot. And then there's the same shot just from farther back. And there's another angle. So, yeah, I use references a lot. Sometimes I do this a lot to plan out the scene. I don't know if I'll use this shot because Gwen is blocking Win Tinkerbell here. But, I don't know. And right now these two uh, Wendy's are reabsorbing each other to cut down on characters in the scene. That'll be fun to draw in the background. Oh yeah, this mug is uh, my Rent Art Studios mug that I got from redbubble.com. I can get anything I draw put onto a mug or a shirt. So obviously, I have a mug. Well, my wife bought me this mug for my birthday last year. And it was, it was very nice, a very nice surprise to uh, get a whole bunch of Rent Art stuff. So I got a nice Rent Art pillow. And, Stuff and uh, if you're interested in Rent Arb Studio stickers or shirts, you can also go there and get one. This is the website oh, right here of redbubble.com. Look for Gary Brantner. For some reason, they wouldn't let me do my name as Rent Arb Studios. I don't know. Either way, if you look search Rent Arb Studios in Redbubble, you will find a Rent Arb Studio shirt and mug. And enough about that, though. So, yeah, let's see. This right here, shot number four, is, I think, the one I'm going to use. So, pretty soon, uh, I will be drawing that one. And I will be showing you how I draw that one. From pe early pencil sketches, roughs, right down to putting it on the page and then inking the page. So, uh, that should be fun. Yeah. All right. So in ending, um, thank you for watching Rent Arb Studios comics on, on YouTube. Subscribe to be able to have notifications on uh, when the next videos are coming up. And tell your friends to subscribe. And I think that's all. Um, well, let's see here. You could also follow me on... Oh, let's... This is not working. You can follow me on uh, Patreon. And on Patreon, I will put your name up here and sit, tell everybody to follow you. So this is an example. Gary Brantner, that's me. You can find Gary Brantner on Twitter as Rentnarb. Or say it was John Doe, a.k.a. John Doe on Twitter or John615, whatever Twitter handles are nowadays. <laughs> that didn't make me sound old. Anyway, so if you back me on Patreon, I will uh, give you a shout out on my YouTube channel. But then again, thanks you, thank you for watching Written Art Studios comics on YouTube and subscribe so that you know when the next video is up. That way you can watch me draw the scene that I just took pictures of. And uh, that will be all.